eight years though. Hey, this is Captain Brian. <laughs> this is the captain's log. I'm backing up. Hold on. Let me back up. With Kate Quigley. This seems super safe, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a Nothing professional. like live streaming while you're driving the talent. <laughs> like, um, so guys, if we die, it'll be on tape. <laughs> we're, we're professionals here. Oh, God. So you're in Florida. You've been here for a few days. What's going on? Um, I've been here since Sunday. I started in Tampa. Tampa Improv. That show was actually so fun, man. Ooh, it sounds... was really fun. Crowd was great. The club was pretty packed. The food was good. Um, I had a good time there. I did the Mike Calta show, which was super, uh, super fun. So it was great. That's cool. See if so I can share this. your thing is a uh, little comedy this weekend at Off the Hook. We're gonna have fun. Yeah, comedy uh, tonight and tomorrow. It's not really the weekend. It's, it's Wednesday, not. Thursday. It's Wednesday, Thursday. Wednesday, Thursday. Which yeah. is going to get the party started for the weekend. Yeah, yeah. It'll be fun. Like, a, like a pre-4th of July weekend I'm party. I'm excited. And then I'm going to Boca. And then I think I might go to Miami Sunday. So I'm just like, I'm just, I'm here. I'm taking in Florida. I'm enjoying Florida. I'm happy. I'm really happy. You are. Yeah. So everybody's a big fan of your podcast, The Date Fails. Aw, I'm, I'm a big fan of it. I'm a big fan. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I'm a big fan. So um, tell us some of the good stories that like we want to know that you don't say on the a podcast. Is there anything you don't say or do you just say it all? Well, I say everything about my dating life on the podcast, but I don't say names for the most part. Um, <laughs> unless, unless I have permission. I don't say names and um, I usually try to avoid talking about people I'm dating until after it's over. Yeah. Or uh, if it's if it's going really really well, but like anything in the middle, I try to wait because I usually say stuff I regret, and then guys dump me. <laughs> Does it jinx it? Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, no guy wants. It's a lot of pressure for guys. I talk about how good the sex is, and like how you know where they take me on dates. Like I tell real stories, so sometimes you know guys can get a little intimidated by that, and then it ruins it. So now I try to wait. Until after. Do you and, talk about the bad sex? And then I destroy them. Yeah, I do. I don't, that's what I'm saying. It's like, so if I ever say their name, then they're going to be terrified. So I try to I try to be careful. Wow. But yeah, I tell bad sex stories. I told a story about a guy I hooked up with who, like, I said it was like a silent film because he turned off the TV and all the music. He literally, like, there was sound in his apartment until we started hooking up and then he turned off everything was it because he was so vocal he wanted to hear himself or no was he just was silent? silent it was like a silent film it was like watching one of those <laughs> you old were like Charlie it? Chaplin you movies where there was like no sound <laughs> it was the worst sex ever did you tell him no you let it ride I left and never came back <laughs> oh my god. We both knew it was one of those things where when it was over we were both like this was a terrible idea. I Tom Green's on. Hey Tom, Tom, what's up buddy? Hi Tom. I love Tom. Oh, Aww. he's the best. He's Tom probably the right best. now in Costa Rica. No, right? I don't know. I don't know. He might be he yeah. could be anywhere. Tom, I hope I see you at Harlan's Fourth of July party. <laughs> nice. Nice. Aww. Yeah. So you told the guy after the sex how bad it was? No, I didn't tell him. I just laughed. We both knew. You know when it's bad. You know when it's bad. So we just, it was really bad. And then um, I actually heard him. This is such an embarrassing. See, now that I know Tom is on, I don't want to tell this story. It's too embarrassing. <laughs> I mean, like the long story short is, uh, he's, I, it was very silent. He didn't really know what he was doing. And then afterwards, he said that I heard him. I was was like, he young? What do you mean I heard him? And he said, he said you bit me. Oh. And well. I was like, I don't even remember biting you. And he said, yeah, you bit me, and it was a little too hard. And then he showed me where I left, like, a little bite mark on him. How, was like a, like a, was it you really bad, or were you it? like, come no. on, that was wussy? No, I was like, really? Do you have a vagina? I was actually upset, because that's, I'm like, be a man. Come Ooh. on. So, and then I left, and then we never went out again. That was it. That was but, like, but, so was that the first night? No, that was like the fourth date or something. How many dates does it I'm take? A, I'm a lady. <laughs> how many dates does it take? It depends on how much I like them. I got no chance today. She only had two days, guys. Depends Sorry. how much I like them. Sorry. I mean, I don't, I, I hook up, it takes me way longer now than it used to because I've learned over time not to do it too soon. Yeah. Yeah. So then, so what's so the takes, move? What's the perfect date? Days. What's the perfect date? The perfect date? Yeah. Um, staying home, do, not going out with a guy. <laughs> no. But, 
<laughs> the perfect date is no date, and it's me alone in my apartment watching porn. Yeah. Um, no, I'm just kidding. The perfect date is, I don't know, I'm really a beach person, so even when I'm home in LA, I really like to go, I like activities. I like go to the beach, take a walk, maybe go like Santa Monica Pier. Um, I really like, uh, I really like theme parks. I like adrenaline. I think when you have like a, a moment of adrenaline with yeah. someone, that that kind of makes everything more fun. So, I really like, you know, Six Flags. But I'm not talking first date. This would be like maybe date three when you kind of you've already had like a drink. Yeah. First date, happy hour. That's, That's it. it. One drink, one hour. It's it, all I need. Lunch too. Lunch. I'm or? not a big fan of food on. I know my friends are all like, Kate, you should make guys buy you food on dates because it sets some kind of tone. But I don't like that because I don't want to be stuck with you if I don't if I right. don't like you. So you go happy hour, and if the one drink, if it just sucks, you're you're like, hey, thank you so much. One drink, all it takes for me is like 20 minutes. You know, if you have chemistry in 20 Correct. minutes, look, yeah. Mike Colt is on. Hey, Hi, Mike. Mike. What's just, up, buddy? I was just talking about you on the radio. We where, were just. I don't talking know where about I was, you. but we were talking about how fun you are. So, yay. Nice to see you, Mike. Um, but yeah, happy hour. That's it for me. And then, but if it's good, do you get a second drink? Nope. You still bounce? Yeah, because I leave them wanting more. You know what oh, I mean? Oh, that's a good move. Leave that's a power more. move. I yeah. see. And also, I'm busy. I don't schedule anybody for more than an hour. <laughs> you get one hour. <laughs> so Fine. do you do hour intervals with like a 10 minute break? Or do you just go one um, and I just won't get lie. it done? I won't lie. I have done nights where I'll do, I'll set up a date before a show and a date after a show. I never take guys to my shows, ever. I do I do sometimes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I also will plan, and guys do the same thing, but I'll have like a, a date and then um, I'll plan like an old ex for a hookup after the date. Like if I'm getting to the point oh. where I know I'm going to be tempted to sleep with the guy and it's yeah. too soon, then I plan, I plan post-date sex this is horrible. That's a good move. That's it's a good smart, move. But take notes, guys. Take notes. But if guys discover you're doing that, they hate you forever. Because the guy's like, I bought you dinner and you went and hooked up with that guy. But, you know, that's just if I like you. So take it as a compliment. <laughs> oh, my oh, goodness. God, so, okay. guys, if you're not following Kate, by the way, one of my favorite people to follow on social media, so Kate Quigley. Uh, you. You're going to love her. Her Instagram on Twitter. Um, Thank you. I, and you're doing some Snapchat stuff now. More, a little bit. More. Yeah. You said you don't like it though. I hate Snapchat. I you think, do? I just think it's stupid. Yeah. It's just, it's just, it's if I want, like, I don't understand, like, what do I, why do I need a dog face on for, you know what I mean? It's just, some, I don't. Sometimes I waste such good stuff that only goes away so quick. I'm I mean, like, that was great. Now it's only going to be the 24 hours. Let me tell you something too. I, I dealt with some guys that were like, only message me on Snapchat. Me no, no, I'm not messaging you on Snapchat. I hate it. You know why? Because when you read it, it disappears. Right. Sometimes I'm busy and I can't, how, I don't remember what you wrote me to write you back. So then I have to answer right away. And it's just, I, I'm not into it. And also if I want a guy, it's like, turned on by a, like a tiger or a dog then I would like I mean that just creeps me out it's like it makes me feel like you're gonna jerk off at the zoo or something like I just can't I'm not into any of that I'm scared oh hey we're hey hold die. on we gotta hit the brakes we almost went off the uh if we die because we're live streaming on the way to the radio I'm gonna be very upset but that would be big like we'd go out big uh, I really don't think we would no, no I think people would be like what morons we <laughs> I would well, they tune in. Know. They always watch us. I would rather not so, die that way. So it usually There's goes There's three well. people watching. There is only three There's right three now. People. Maybe because it's 8 o'clock in the morning. I don't know. <laughs> is it because it's 8 o'clock in the morning? I have no idea. I don't know. A couple, like, you know, we had... We had 48,000... We had 48,000 views on my last one. So wow. it better start getting some people are watching something. Who did you have on that you had 48,000 views? We had uh, Catfish... Cooley and then uh, yeah, you know Catfish? No. You gotta know this dude. You're gonna love him. Oh yeah? Yeah. I don't even know how to share it. So you see it that it's live right now on my stream. Alright. And then you could just share I just shared it. To your page. I just shared so it. So it now my live. family can see. So now I definitely have to keep this rated PG. We'll see the thing. I, I try to keep my Facebook liver, guys, if you want I mean uh I mean cleaner if you want like the real if you want the real um Kate. truth. You gotta go on my Twitter. <laughs> more than the Instagram, or it's the same. Instagram and Twitter, yeah. I keep my Facebook just slightly more PG thirteen because I do too. Like I still have cousins and little family people. You know? Yeah, I do too. But I don't go too crazy. Yeah. Like I kind of keep it, you know. So guys, we're in Florida. 
we for are. my people that are tuning in now, if there are any of you. Um, yesterday, I went to a beach. Uh, I went to a beach where the sand, actually, this sand at this beach, Siesta Key, Siesta. Oh, Port, it's like powder, right? Yeah, it's seriously I love like it. baby powder. It it's is. It's the weirdest sand I've ever seen. It and is. even when it dries, it looks like you left a pile of dust on your right. table, like sawdust on the yeah. table. It's crazy. It, it feels good, though. It doesn't get hot. It's really soft. Yeah, yeah it was great. Um, let's see who, what else do I know about Florida? One time when I was here, I went to an alligator farm. Did you get to hold the little baby one? Uh, and they I, go like, I ate, pet it. I didn't hold it. Oh, no. you chickened out. I don't hold animals that can, like, take a limb off. Usually I try to avoid that. So, no, I didn't, <laughs> I didn't hold it. <laughs> hey, Koba. Koba works for us. You'll see him at the club. Hey, Koba. What's up? Um, so, how many bikinis do you travel with? That's very important. I had a someone, lot. A someone lot. asked me to ask you that. I forget who DM'd me. So many bikinis. Um, I get them at Walmart. It's funny because I have some bikini sponsors now that will send me like really expensive free bikinis. And yes. I still go back to the $8 Walmart bikinis all the time. Over so, Target? Shout out Walmart. Yeah, because they're so cheap and like, I mean, they fit really good. Target bikinis don't work for me. You I just buy bikinis. really small ones. That's why they fit good. Well, I mean, the, um, they just, they're, they all tie. So women know because right. when yeah. you tie it, you can like adjust everything. That's cool. So, guys, it's really early. We're doing four radio interviews. Um, we were just, what was the one we were just at? I like those we, people. We did Gator Country with Mel and Scott, and then we just did the Freak Show with Brittany, Brian, show. and Ramo. I really like that. On 105.5. Brittany's real cool. She's single. What's her story? I don't know. I don't know what the deal is, but I do know that uh, she's cool. They're all cool. They've been uh, they've been my friends for years. Yeah, they're, real, they're all really show. great. So. Um, what else? I brought my homie Jack Jr. So if you listen to my podcast, Date Fails, Jack co-hosts with me a lot, and I brought him him to open the shows, and he's super funny, so you guys will love him. So. Well, we're traveling down 75 right now. Traffic is very little, which yeah. is cool. It's nice. So we're going over to 103.9. Uh, we're going to be on with uh, Big Mom and the Wild Bunch. Oh. That's another fun show. And then we see Jeff Zito on 96 K Rock. And um, and then you're done. You just get yes. to beach it the rest back to of sleep. the day. Are you going to go to sleep? I slept like three hours. I'm going back to sleep. I texted you. I Did I text you late or early? Is no, it too late for you when I text? You text me at like 8 p.m. <laughs> yeah, I'm <laughs> joking. <laughs> and what about in the morning, though? I do text you. I did text you early. I woke up 10 minutes before you got there. Well, look at this. 10 minutes. Imagine how she's going to look tonight for the show. This just is like 10 this. minutes waking up. <laughs> It'll be just like this minus the hat. Um, well, thank you. I showered before bed, so I'd be prepared. But, you know, I find the older I get, the less I care how I look. It's, it's, it's weird how that's happened, but it's the truth. When you go on dates, how do you prepare? What's the... What's well, the prep? What the is pre a date, really? I don't feel like I ever... Truthfully, this is... I... I I dress and look on dates normally how I do on stage because I normally schedule my dates before show so I have an out. So right. I always am like, hey, 6 p.m., happy hour, I got a show at 8. And then I always look kind of tomboyish. So I like to set the bar very low. That's how I date. I set the bar as low as possible. I show up, you know, with boogers, no makeup. And so smack. do they get disappointed because on social media you're like, you look like yes, a rock star? They're always disappointed. Everyone is disappointed in real life. I so doubt that. When they meet me, they're always like, oh, no. No, it's a true story. I used to be on a poster, a Miller Lite poster, and I would do poster signings. And when people would show up, they'd go, who is this? Like, what? where's the chick on the poster? I look nothing like the poster. So, But, you know, um, it's fine. I still got paid. So. That's all. That's Cat, the checks in the bank. That's what counts. That yeah. does count. Yeah. So, listen, guys, if you want to come down and laugh and have a great time, come see Kate. She is hysterical. She's going to be at Off The Hook Comedy Club. True. Get tickets at offthehookcomedy.com. You can call us, 239-389-6901. Yeah. This is the Captain's Log. This is my friend, Kate Quigley. And we're done for the day, guys. Check out, check out the radio. We're going to be rocking it the rest of the day. Yeah. Later. Yeah.